Hi, I'm Vincent Cassell and you're watching Simply Entertainment. Tell us about your role in uh, Eastern Promises as Kirill. Kirill. Kirill is a very tormented soul. Kirill is the son of a, of a very cruel mafia boss. Kirill is born in the wrong environment for him. You think I didn't know already? He told me before. It was my idea. He said, now, there are a lot of things I have to teach you. It will take a long time. I've been protecting you until now. Uh, Dada Kirill. Dada Kirill. Thank you. You think I don't know things that you don't know? You're playing a Russian. How hard was that to sort of fit into that sort of a role? You know, obviously the accent, sort of maybe mannerisms, obviously part of the Russian mafia as well. Well, yeah, I have to admit, like, to speak in English is already <laughs> something for me. To add this other layer of problems, which is the accent on top of it, I was a little worried about it. How is it to play someone that's so volatile, but yet quite passionate, you know, the audience are quite sympathetic to him in some scenes as well? Well, you see, when you play a character that's a little crazy or volatile, as you said, it's, in a way, we all have impulsions in everyday life, but you don't let yourself go mm -hmm. to which impulsions, because otherwise it's just unbearable and possible to leave for the others. With a character like this, every time you have something coming up, you just let yourself go with it. Was there any antics going on behind the camera, so maybe...? What I can tell you is that maybe people would think of David Cronenberg as a very dark, sinister man, you know. And it's not, it's not the case at all. Uh, the atmosphere on Eastern Promises, for example, is very light. David has this incredible, subtle sense of humor, and he cracks the right joke at the right moment, always. So it's not a movie we did. We, we didn't shoot this movie suffering. We actually had a lot of fun yeah. telling a very dark story. And obviously you play a lot of criminal sort of villains. Do you find them attractive to play? I mean, do you find them fun or...? Well... Or do they just always come to you, these roles? Well, they, they are, they are, but I think, you know, there's no, there's no hazard, really. You know, I, I started in this business doing these kind of characters. Actually, when I think about it, watching movies when I was much younger, I mean, that's the kind of characters and movies I like to watch. I remember in acting classes, this is the kind of, uh, this is the kind of scenes I'd like to work yeah. on, you know? And Are they plus, more fun to play? Oh, yes, but it, it is fun to play, you know? It's extreme, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, engaging, you know? It's, and, and plus, sometimes, you know, you do things in movies and you, you realize, you know, you just discover things of you that you didn't know. Show some respect for a dead man. Respect. Hmm. This is respect. Okay, Kalian. It's all yours. Show some respect. Peter Ras. Where do you think you're going to go next? Are you going to keep playing villains or...? What's your well, next right role? now I'm just completing a, it's two movies in a row about the life and death of a very famous gangster in France mm -hmm. from the 70s. He was like a, an iconic figure in France because he, he was very free against the government, against the mafia, against everything. So I am playing another gangster. Uh, but I think more and more I will try to do other stuff. Uh, I do have a romantic comedy in store. <laughs> Where you play the romantic lead? Or? Exactly. <laughs> and I did that before, actually, years ago, with my wife in a movie called L'Appartement. Yeah. And it, it worked really fine, but then, you know... Would you like to, uh, to play the, uh, the other romantic lead in this film again? We, well, actually, it, if, it, if this thing happens, it would be with her, yeah, so... Oh, perfect then. Yeah. And do you think you have the best of both worlds? So obviously, you, you know, worked in more foreign cinema, and now, obviously, coming over to Hollywood. Do you think you get to pick and choose, sort of, which ones you go with? Well, you always choose with, you know, 
what you got, you know. But uh, yes, I feel pretty happy because in France, obviously, I, I, I really have a good relationship with uh, the directors of my generation, at least. And so I feel that I've been part of like movies that were important for France, you know. I think about La Hand, Doberman, or Irreversible and the stuff. To work, you know, to have another market and to be able to play in English, and to, you know, it's it's great. I mean, it's all good for an actor. By the way, the next thing I'll do is a is a Brazilian movie in Portuguese. So you see, I'm opening again a little more, yeah. <laughs> so if it was a sequel, would you uh, you know reprise a role of Chris yes. again? David Cronenberg, Viggo Mortensen, Naomi Watts, right away. Okay, great. Thank you very much.